Okay, let's start to warm up a bit. <clears throat> Very light hopping. Keep your arms relaxed, your shoulders relaxed, your wrists are relaxed. Okay, now move your arms and your legs a bit. <clears throat> and now this way, <clears throat> and now legs keep going and the arms will rotate. One arm is rotating forward, one is rotating backward. And change directions. Okay. And now every third jump, go to a deep position like this. Straight back and breathe out. like hugging a tree, a big tree. Okay. And then calm your breath down. Okay, you go to the knees, up and down. And to the side. And go down completely and use your forearms to even spread your legs more out to get a good stretch. Okay, and then open your feet and go to the left and the right. <clears throat> Okay, then go to one side and keep the soles of your feet connected to the ground. <clears throat> you can use your hands to balance yourself. And then change sides. Soles of the feet are connected. And change sides, and now you can lift your toes. Change sides, lift toes. Okay, come to the middle, and then go to your knees, and then turn to one side 
and turn to the other side. <clears throat> okay, then we go to the shoulders. <clears throat> Big circles. And uh, now we can <clears throat> incorporate something Andrea was teaching a couple of weekends ago. You might remember that she was teaching, if you go back, you uh, pull your chest to the front. And if the shoulders go to the front, you pull the back to the back. Chest to the front, back to the back. So you really make a big circle Open your chest, open your back as big as possible. Okay, change directions. And now with the whole arms. Ah. And reverse. Ah. And now with the next one, you go up, you Hands up, pull back, hold your breath, and ah, breathe ah. out. So breathe in, tense up, breathe out. Ah. 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 And one more. Ah. And relax your shoulders. <clears throat> okay, and then we will stretch the side, so stay squared. One arm to the roof and then go to the side. So you have a good stretch on the open side. And relax and the other side. Stretch up and bend over. And relax. Stretch up. Now, if you bend over, you can also lift your heel from the ground. You have an even bigger stretch. Next. And the other side. Lift up. Okay. Now uh, we go to the ground for a couple of minutes <clears throat> for some ukemi. So, I mean, you know this, you go to the left of your spine and the right of your spine. So massage the big muscle, which holds your spine. Everybody at its own pace, some ukemi. Use your arms also. Use your whole body.
with the next one, you come up to your knee, stretch a bit, and then do the next knee, come up, stretch, stretch. If, if this hurts your knee, then just do the ground one, the first one. And now with the next one, you come up completely to a hungry. And then you go down. Come up to a hungry, go down. <coughs> This was my wake up warm up. <clears throat> now, take a book in, and we will start with the first suburi. So, now I'm a bit out of my breath, and that's on purpose. So, try to calm your breath down. Take a hummy stand and go to the first suburi. Everybody. At its own pace, try to get your breath down and do the first suburi. Okay, Hayashimas. Hayashimas. Okay, and from there we go directly to Zengo Giri. So to, to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back. Okay, Zengo Giri. Hi, Hi. Ah. Hey.
Okay, two things for the single Giri, which I think are uh, important. So <clears throat> one, uh, the first thing, imagine you, uh, you perform the first Suburi. So the first Suburi is like a, a straight cut, like a Shomenuchi, right? <clears throat> so for the Shomenuchi, my teacher always told me, use your thumb and, uh, and make a, I don't know the, the English word for this. Oh, you know, you, you comp your hair to one side. Parting. So, what is it? Parting. Parting. Okay, so use your thumb to, to part, to do this kind of thing. So it's <clears throat> in the middle of your head. And when you imagine you do the first suburi, you do the same thing. So you, you are really in the center, at the center. And if you turn to the other side, try to avoid this to come from the side. So while you turn, you are here. So really try if you, when you turn, you are at the center of your body and then cut. And do the same when you turn back, center, cut. So really try to, to be in the middle of your head. And, um, and while you are doing this, try to avoid nicking down. So don't pull your, put your head down. Put your arms up above your head like this. Whoa. So don't do this, but keep straight and try to find the center of your body to cut. Okay? Some more on the edge ones. <clears throat> yes, sir. All right. Ah. Hey. Ah. And if you are unsure, if you are really uh, in the middle, then just stop after the turn and, and see if you are really at the center. Okay. Hey. Ah. Hey. Ah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Ah. Oh. Yes, good.
Okay, good. So before we go to the fifth Subhuti, <clears throat> I want to um, want to try something with you. Um, before I uh, I joined Louis and the TAE, uh, I did some uh, some other. I practiced some other sword school, which was called Kashima Shinto Maybe you have heard about this. And there we had a nice cutter uh, with a big spiral and a tsuki forward. So, <clears throat> and this reminds me of the of the fifth suburi. So let's try this one. Um, I I show it to you. So we had we had one game where one person was just holding the bokken in a horizontal way, and the other one, the other uh, one had to circle around. Uh, around this bokken. So you do a spiral and try to circle around this bokken and then all of a sudden you come to the front. So you, from a spiral, you go to the front and do a ski. So, <clears throat> and the thing is you can, just, just wait a minute before you start, you can, uh, you can circle this direction. So, uh, um, counterclockwise, or you can circle clockwise. And <clears throat> uh, how you do it will then uh, later define uh, the cutter. So let's uh, circle with the tip uh, counterclockwise first. So you circle this way, and then you come to the front for the ski. Yeah. So circle. Hey, and then come forward. Circle. Hey, come forward. Okay, try this. <clears throat> ah. And uh, I think the goal of this practice is to, to try to use the spiral and make it smaller and smaller while you are going to do the tsuki. So try to really uh, don't stop with the spiral and then uh, perform the tsuki, but try to go out of the spiral for the tsuki. So use the, from the movement, Make the spiral, yeah. In the end, it gets smaller and smaller. Okay, now spiral the other way. So clockwise, the tip moves clockwise now. And now you feel, this will really feel like the sixth, uh, the fifth degree. So you turn, oh. turn, yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, shimas. Shimas. Oh. Thank you. 
Very good. So in the end, I think it, this game is good for timing. We had a we had a game where uh, one person went with the bokken, so we stand in front of each other, and one person was coming with a straight bokken, and the other person was walking and then doing the tsuki. So we had a maybe five six meters away, and then we approached each other, and you had to do your timing right to really enter the tsuki, and. Um, I remember um, that I don't know who said this in uh, in the last class, but <clears throat> we did something where you where you um, cut down and uh, took you forward, but you don't really settle your front foot. And this reminds me a bit of this of this um, of this spiral because it for me it feels when I'm here that a small spiral will continue. So if you do the, is it the fifth one? Yeah, the fifth suguri, yeah, this one. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a stop for me, but it feels like, yeah, a spiral which continues to the front. Hey, okay. So try to, to have this feeling of a continuous movement without really stopping and then move again. Okay? Try this on Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and of course you can do this in both directions. Yeah. So with the Zengo Gili. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Okay, and this feeling of this spiral gets even stronger if we move forward to the next Suburi. So from here to this one. Okay, so when you use your your hip to to roll into the tsuki. And this really reminds me of, of that spiral. So roll in. Hey, roll in. Ah, okay. So really try to feel this from the hip 
Let's spiral. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, and keep in mind the thing with the parting, you know, and keep your head straight. Don't look down. Cut from the center of your body. Yes. So, and one, one more detail, I mean, for me, it feels like when I cut and uh, put my weight to the front foot, this is like a, uh, you know, like a spring, which, which is pressed down and then, uh, and then pushes me to the next move. So try to feel whoa, this. So you, you cut, you compress the spring and then it will push you to the next movement and uh, it doesn't push you up but it pushes it, uh, it um, pushes you to the to the front so try to compress and release so you compress all your power with the first cut and then release it to the ski yeah yeah. yeah, so it's a kind of loop huh? down front. Okay, try that. Yeah. yeah. It's not just a step forward, but a really Mm, a preparation for the thrust. Yeah. Oh.
Okay, so for the last couple of minutes, we, uh, we will get more playful. So move around and do the fifth or the sixth Suburi, everything what comes in your mind. Okay. And be light and gentle, not so much focus. But stay focused. Okay? Nice mass. Move around. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, and to get our breath and the heartbeat down for the last minute, we just do the first subuli, but we don't focus. So try to make the cut as clear as possible, but without focus. Like this. So just cut down, no focus, very relaxed. Okay, the last moments come down. Try to get rid of a wobbling or every unnecessary movement and just cut straight.
Okay, yummy. Good. So I'll hand over to Paul. Welcome, Paul. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Morning. 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 Okay. So good morning, everyone. Uh, so Sasha, thanks for, for your class. Um, so we're going to continue with Joe. So we're going to first uh, do the first five Saburi. We're going to stay a bit basic, but then afterwards we're going to play around a little bit with, uh, with the forums. So first, what I want you to do is just get a Joe. And well, let's, let's bow in first again. So, okay, so just first, uh, you might hear a toy behind me. That, that's my kid. So I hope you can hear me, but that's okay. So just grab the Joe like this and just let your hands slide over the Joe just to get a feeling of the length. So you twist your body and you slide the hands accordingly. So you just slide with it and really feel that you're using your upper body when you do this. So you rotate your spine. So just feel, feel the length and feel the rotation. And as you, are, as you slide down with your arm, you feel an extra rotation in your back. There, so the, the feet are fixed for now. So just feel that it totally comes from the spine. And also try to see if you can breathe out when you make the move. So you breathe out in the center, you breathe out when you do the move. And as you move, you just slide the hand over the weapon. So you're mobilizing your spine. You're also getting a feeling with the, with the Joe. Okay, just continue with it. That's it, good. Very good. So really feel that, that, that the, the muscle on the, in your back are really getting an extra stretch at the last moment. Okay, so now, now we're gonna do, do the same, but now you're gonna engage the hip a bit more. So now you're gonna step forward and make this motion. So now you're gonna step forward and really feel this comes from the hip. So you do this and you rotate from there. Yeah. So now you make the connection between the hip, hip work. There. There. So it's a different feeling. And there's there's a bit more power in it. So the back is stable now. You step and you go in. So this is really for just an exercise to connect the body to the jaw. So it's it's not the form yet, but it will help you later on to get more focus and more hips in it. So stepping, turning from the hip, turning from the hip. Yeah, try this. Anishmas. Anishmas. So you step forward each time with your with the left foot and then the right foot, so you alternate between them. <clears throat> Try to keep a heavy feeling, uh, uh, try to have a heavy feeling in your elbows. So there's the, the weight is under. So it's not too much up, but it's really feeling up down. Down, engaging the hip there, there. So there's no focus yet, just a sense of moving. Okay, very good. Okay, so we're gonna try, try a different one now. So now you're just gonna move the hands over the weapon. So no, no engagement of the hip yet, just a feeling of moving the arms. So really make, really the focus on the hands being smooth. So you change in the center of the weapon. So there, so that 
hand slides to the center, you change. So no hips yet, just a feeling of finding the right angle. So if it's too low, then the head, then, then the the jaw will, will become heavy. So it really needs to be as light as possible. Yeah? Do you really feel that there's like an, uh, uh, an, an, an optimal place where you turn? And really see, really focus on the hand work now. So there's a feeling of sliding there. So no hips yet. There. You really slide to the end and back. Arishmas. Arishmas. <clears throat> Okay, so now, now try to add the hips to it and feel that, that, that you're not fully turning yet, like in um, uh, the Hayagashi. But f uh, well, sorry, sorry, Hayagashi. Uh, uh, I forgot what's, what's it called, the, the, the turning. Jesus. Now, so don't turn yet to make a ski, but just, just make, make a small turn and engage the hips. So now you're just doing this. You engage the hips. So it's just to get a sense of control from the hips. There. There. Yeah, so not a single ski yet, but just turning turning the jaw over. Yeah, just turning the jaw over. There. Yeah, try this. Okay, Shma. Really feel that you're controlling now with the hips. So, so the hands become an extension of the hips. Okay, good. So let's get into the saburi now. So, so now we're gonna we're gonna add this also to the to the saburo to, to, to the saburi. So we're gonna start the first there. Yeah, chocolate ski. So you just move and do a ski. Yeah. So really, really focus on all the basic points. So if you move, the Joe is already off the ground. There you focus. Yeah. So there's really the sense of dropping, stepping in. Yeah, dropping, stepping in. Okay, so one move there. Yeah, and I must. Okay, so there's 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 one point I want to address because because I see some of you uh, doing this. So what's what's interesting if you if you start the um, the, the the ski from uh, from ski kamai, then there is a tendency to do this. Yes, to, to really have a feeling of uh, emphasizing the back. So there's this this feeling of going back and forward. If you do it from um, Joe kamai really feel that you're focusing the Joe. So this, yeah? So the, the, I really want to go forward. 
there. I don't want to emphasize this because that's an extra move I'm doing. So feel that you just focus the jump. So the hand follows forward, this. But I'm not doing an extra move there. You see the difference? Yes. So actually, I'm doing an extra move then. So really feel that you are, that you are efficient. You just focus. You just focus. You just focus. Instead of doing this, an extra move. So, so, so not this, yeah, but this, there. Yeah, Andres Mas. Andres Mas. Be efficient in your movement. Also, when you want to do it flowing, this is how you want to do it. That's better, good. Yes. Way better. Okay, great. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. So we're going to go now to Gaishitsky. So in this case, stepping in there. Yeah. So this. Yeah. So it's the same principle with if you move the feet, the jaw needs to be off the ground. Yeah. This. This feeling. And really try to do it in one go. So make it one motion. This, this, up. So the center line collecting there, collecting up. Strong back. Yeah, on each mass. Each mass. Guys, it's key. Feel that you can be efficient with this motion. Hey. Ah. Ah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, please really really feel that that you that you Refrain from doing this. Yeah, th this is really what you don't want to do. If the Joe is standing on the ground, please refrain from grabbing it already. You really feel that you're doing this. Yeah. So you drop, you move forward, this. This. Up there. So and actually also what's what's happening with, 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 with some of you is that the, the, the move to the bed is 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 too big. So if I do this, then I actually, have, this takes too much time, yeah? So the, the, the circle is quite small, ah, there. It's like this. So it's, it's, it's really about being efficient. It's not about ah, this. That's, it's, it's a bit too big. So really find first the Joe connected to the body in one go when you, when you uh, move from the ground and don't make the circle too big. There. Hey, this feeling. Yeah, try that. Very smart. Very smart. Very smart. Be efficient in your motions.
Okay, so one more point, one more point. Okay, so if the if the right hand is 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 too dominant, yeah, then this will happen. So this, yeah. So then then you are steering the the left hand there. Then you want to make then you do this. So then it seems like you're doing it the way you want to do it. Actually, you feel, feel that both hands are active. So the left hand, there's a sense of having kokyo in both hands. So the, the left hand's already active. So really feel that, that this is a kokyo exercise. So this, yeah, this, this. Instead of setting up the jaw like this and then making it easier because then actually that's still an adjustment you're doing. Drop everything, drop your energy, move from that position and really feel that you Bring the hands together by doing this from the hips. This. Yeah, a couple more. Anishmas. 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 Yes. So both hands are active. And you don't want to focus on going back. You want to focus on going forward. So the circle is small. Paul, are you lifting the jaw from the ground? Well, actually, it goes by itself. But yeah, it, it, it gets lifted by yeah. dropping to the ground. OK. This. Yeah. See, so it's, it's not this. Yeah. This. It's the same as doing Morotodori Kukyao. Yeah. Really. Same feeling, this. Yeah, so it's, so it's not like an active lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. By dropping the hips, the jaw comes up. Okay. And you can meet it. Okay, thanks. Drop the hips, Bernie. Both both hands, yes, and the hips. Boom. This feeling. Whew. Really feel like that is a Tayutsu thing also in in the jaw. That's better. That's way better. Good. Good. Great. Okay, so we're gonna continue. So Ushirotsky, Ushirotsky. So this, this is a difficult one. Uh, they're all difficult, by the way, but this one is the only one going to the back. So in this case, I have the same feeling of dropping and turning. Yeah? So I want to have the feeling of doing this. So it's under my elbow there. So first I want to have a clear setup there. And then I want to step to the back. Yeah? So the, the, first, the first move, is to drop and turn. And the second move is to do a strike. Of course, you can also do it in one go. But if you if you if you were a beginner, try to do it in two moves. So you're there, you drop there. Yeah. Stable base. You're already turned, and then you finish there. Yeah. Shoulder width there, and keep looking forward. Yeah. Andre Schmidt.
Okay, good. Okay, so one one more point about this because actually everyone is doing really really well. So it's it's just fine tuning a bit. So what's really important is that if you if you if you start try not to to keep your energy forward too much. So if you're too forward, this will happen. Then actually you want to go to the back, which is quite difficult. So feel that you are that you are already turning. There, I'm I'm already turning my body in to where I want to go. So on the first move, there's there's already a, a rotation going on. Yeah. So there's already this, this, there. Yeah. And then I move to the back, which makes it a bit easier to to go for your follow up motion. There. There. Yeah. Instead of this, which is too forward. Yeah? Okay, very good. Okay, so now let's try to do it in one move. In, a, in one move. Yeah. So now you're 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 there, and now you, you're you're not doing the whole thing of getting it under your elbow, but you just move to the back. This feeling. So you just go back, and so there's a feeling of moving back, and and the and the Joe just follows. There. Yeah. So it's a bit more complicated. So you're there. You just go to the back. So it's really just moving and taking the job with you. Hey. This way. Yeah? So, hey. there. Just hey. moving. Yeah? Nice mass. Nice mass. Okay, so when you when you do this, make sure you're not you're not grabbing the Joe before. So it's not grabbing and then going. It's just one motion. Yeah. <laughs> that was <Wait>. close. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. Feel it. Feel it. Stop. Peace. 
So, okay, so make sure it's one motion. So it's not grabbing and then going back, but it's just this feeling. On the, on the way back, you take the jump with you. So it's really, it's really um, a total movement. So just this feeling. Instead of going forward and back, just go to the back. This. So it's really, it really has to do with compression in the ground and turning this, turning straight away to the back. Instead of going forward to the back. Yes, so really focus on going back. Anishmas. Anishmas. Yes. It's like an explosion to the back. That's it, Silke. Very nice. Okay, very good. Okay, we're gonna move on. Ski Geran Gaish. Yeah, so now you're, you're you start from Ski Kamai, you go forward, you take your jaw back, and you roll in. Yeah? Ski Geran Gaish. Hey, up there. Yeah, so moving in, yeah, to the back, collecting the jaw, yeah, from the hips, moving forward. There. Yeah? So this. This, this, each knee, sun. Yes, one more. Each knee, sun. There. Yeah, Nishma. See, get on, guys. Okay, one one um, one pointer on the last move. Really focus on the left hand. Don't focus on the right hand. So if you're there, there. If I focus on the right hand, this becomes the case. So I, I, I almost smack myself there. This is too too rough. Yeah, and I actually throw myself off balance. So feel that actually is coming from this hand. So there. It's more in the in the, in the center. Hey, this feeling, yeah. Hey, there, yeah. Instead of hey, this, we don't want this. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. Yeah. Hey. Oh. 
Are you actually pulling with your left hand instead of pushing with the right? Sorry? Are you pulling? So the, 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 the movement is more pulling movement with your left hand instead of a pushing movement with the right hand? Ah, mm, that, well, that's, that, that's, that, that might be a bit too extreme. It's, oh. it's really like a balanced motion. So you're there, there. <laughs> Sorry about that. So it's really about no, no, no. having a balance between, um, between the, uh, oh man. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's really about balancing the hand. <laughs> no worries, Paul, no worries. <laughs> okay, so Bernie, your, your, your question is really good. So this, this is a good point because it's a very difficult motion. So the, the left hand, wants to be a bit more receptive and the right hand is the one in this case that, that delivers the well the, the blow for instance but actually it's not, it, it's, it's not about pulling it's about really finding a balance between both so if if for instance if my left hand is too is, is too dominant nothing really happens with the joke so there's no delivery of power if my right hand is, is dominant then I will lose control of the weapon. So it's about control and also about power. You want to have a balance between both. Yeah? So delivering power yeah, by having a good, uh, a good uh, control over the job and also delivering power. So it's, uh, it's a balance between both. Yeah? Thanks. Yeah. Great. Yes. A couple more, a couple more. Paul, you're yeah. actually um, making the movement from your hip and your shoulders and your arms actually follow the hip. Yeah, you definitely. definitely. Push pull. Sorry? Then you don't have to push pull, but it's just one fluid yeah. motion. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so also also for this motion, let's try to do it in one go now. So each knee. So now you make one motion. So you go forward and you go in straight away. So now you, uh, if you pull back, you go forward straight away. There. So it's quite difficult. There. So it's one motion. So in the pulling back, you come forward again. There. This feeling. Yeah. There. So one motion. That's it. That's it. Very nice, Kedda. Like that. Hey. 
Ótimo. Okay, one, one point about this. So, really feel that this, so still the, the Joe finishes before the right foot is settled in the ground. So, don't, don't do this. Yeah, so don't finish together because then you will take out the power of the, the motion. So, actually, this. So, there's a, a fraction, the Joe finishes a fraction earlier than the foot. Hey, this feeling, yeah. Hey, this feeling, yeah. Hey. It's quite difficult to try. That's nice, Sasha. That's good. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's go to the last one from the five. Ski Jordan guy is huge. One, two, three. So three clear moves, each knee, sun. Yeah, so ski, strike, each, up, eight. Okay, very good. Okay, so we're running out of time because I, I also wanted to do one more exercise where we where we combine the, the motions. So this is based on uh, yes, you're there turning around doing ski. So we all know this, right? Standing or ski. But now you're gonna do a little bit different. So you're gonna do ski, yeah, higher guy she, yeah, strike up the back, and then turn around and do it again. So there. And then pull around. So, you, so you're going to turn around the whole time in, in a set. So you start on the left foot, ski. Hayagaishi, ushi otsukui, turn it around and do it again. So you start from this position, there, there. So ski, hayagaishi, ushi finish. 
each knee, sun, chi. Yeah, I'm trying this. Anesh mas. So three moves. Anesh mas. A. That's it. Okay, for the for the last for the last minutes, try to see if you can also find a way to um, to put Gedan Gaishi in it. Yeah, and also try to play with the with the sequence. So yeah, you can also start with Aya Gaishi and go to the back from there. Yeah, there. Yeah, so do whatever you want. Yeah, but feel that it's more free now. And so you're still turning around. Yeah. And it might be that you also do a high guy she on the other side, for instance. Yeah. Yeah, or you do a strike on the other side. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Just feel that you're playing around with the forms in a more free manner. Oh, nice ones. Nice ones. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so yeah, we are at the end of um, of, of today's classes. Um, so yeah, actually, um, I was wondering if there are any questions about this class or Sasha's class. <coughs> Crystal clear. <laughs> Great. Good, good job. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to bow out, I think. So. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita.
Okay. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. This is a wonderful example of the of the COVID situation because before COVID, it wouldn't have been possible to take care of your small ones and still give a class, right? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So that's the positive side. <laughs> yeah, it's it great. It's great. Uh, I enjoyed it. So yeah, good. me too. Thank me you too. very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice Thank weekend. You. Bye bye.